Hey everybody, uh, my name is Joe Beckman and excited to be checking in with you today. I hope you are well wherever you are at watching this video. Um, so here's the deal, I have a friend. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're like, dude, you drive a minivan, there's no way you have any friends. <laughs> Shut up. I have a friend, one friend, her name is Erin, and Erin is a brain scientist, which means Erin is smart, like really smart. And Aaron is really good at breaking down what is hands down the most complex organ in the entire body and explaining it to people who aren't as smart, me. And what Aaron says is this, she says, what the brain does a lot of, the brain gets good at. Imagine, your brains are this glass uh, and your happiness is this water. Now, when our happiness levels in our brains are high, really good things happen, like we're kinder, we're more energetic, we're healthier, and generally more people want to be around us because let's be honest, happier people are way more fun to hang out with than you know the people who are angry at life. We all know those people, they're not fun. The, the, the hard part about it though is that keeping these happiness levels in our brain at this level is really, really tough. Like left to our own accords, our brains are really, really good at focusing on all the things that bring us down, right? Like. Maybe you've been bullied ever since you were in first grade and you're starting to believe all the names that everyone's ever called you. Maybe you got cut from a team and you're questioning your worth. Maybe your parents are fighting and you're like, man, it's my fault. And we let these sort of negative messages play in our head all day, every day. And like this infection, this negativity spreads into all these different areas of our life, right? We start judging more people. We start pointing out other people's flaws. Like honestly, we get sick more often and has like an impact on our immune system. And again, ultimately, like people aren't gonna wanna be around us because who wants to be around that negative energy? So the question is like how? Like how do we keep happiness levels high so that we can operate at an ideal level and so that we can create a community of people that sort of wanna be around us and that we can sort of grow and be better because of, right? Like, how do we do that? And one of the sort of solutions that I've come up with, because I've struggled with this in my life over the years, is an activity called the attitude of gratitude. Gratitude has been widely studied, and it's like one of those things that if you start doing, it will have an instant improvement in your life if you do it consistently. And so every single day before, uh, when, I, when I wake up, before I check my cell phone, before I look at the mirror and tell myself how ugly I am, before I you know, interact with any other human beings, I write down three things that I'm grateful for. Like for instance, today, I think I wrote down um, that I was grateful that my daughter was in a play last night because um, she gets anxious and stressed out, sometimes to the point where she gets sick, and it took her a lot of courage to go up there and be in that play. So I was grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful that I got to create this video for you guys today. Uh, this is a cool part of my job. And number three, honestly, I wrote this down, like I'm grateful that I had a pillow to sleep on last night, which sounds small, but think about it. There's like hundreds of thousands of people in this world that don't have that. And all of us, I'm guessing all of you do. And so that's what I do. I write down three things every day. Instead of focusing on like who I'm not, I choose to focus on who I am. Instead of Focusing on what I don't have, I really try to focus on what I do have. And instead of focusing on the negative, I choose to focus on the positive. And what the brain does a lot of, the brain gets good at. So my challenge to all of you is to fill these brains with as much happiness as you possibly can because your life is worth it, uh, the people around you are worth it, and your community and your culture will get better with your positive mindset. So here's to some gratitude and some higher happiness levels. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Take care. Peace out. Love your face.